Well, good afternoon, everyone. It is March 11th and, uh, and a pretty warm afternoon, but uh, I figured I'd just do a quick video on uh, on this sled that uh, for, for my work, we got this sled for doing um, like basically grooming ski trails and uh, hauling supplies and busting trail and doing all the normal utility things that you'd expect a sled like this to do. Um, so this is the Skidoo Scandic Wide Track with the 900 Ace. Um, it's got some options coming on it, um, the better bumper, and I got a winch to install and a couple other little things, but uh, this is pretty much it. And uh, I've put it through its paces today, uh, and yeah, uh, pretty darn impressed with it actually. I've driven the XU Scandix quite a bit. Um, this one's fairly similar. I think you sit a little bit higher on it and a slight bit more forward. Um, which in this is actually quite welcome because when you're towing a load, uh, it tends to want to pick the front end up, but sitting more forward, um, it makes it a lot nicer for turning and doing some of the sharp turns we have to do with our grooming equipment. Uh, this is really, really nice to use because um, there's a lot of weight in the front end. A uh, few things that I really like about it is that it's super quiet. Um, the four stroke is so nice and quiet for like, you know, when you're on the sled for a few hours that sometimes the, the loud engines can just get to you and really start to hurt your ears, even with your plugs. But this thing's super nice. It just purrs, um, no drama, no nothing. And it's really good on fuel, um, and fairly easy to do like maintenance and whatnot. So that's, that's super nice with this. Another thing is it weighs a ton, but it doesn't feel like it when you're driving it. It's really, everything's fairly centralized the weight and uh it's quite easy to throw around um i will say this uh like other 900 aces this one does tend to uh like when you're doing a powder turn if you lean it to the right it does fall in quicker on the right than the left so so on the mag side if you lean to the mag side it will fall into the mag side quicker than the pto side and i think that's just a trait that most of the 900s have just with the weight distribution but once you're used to it it's really not a big deal um just a slight adjustment with the way you with the way you ride and when you're you know you throw it harder to the left than you do to the right basically um i've already had it on its side today like on purpose just to see how easy it is to flip back over with one person and honestly was not bad at all and uh this thing can crawl out of anything uh even in high range, it's just touch the gas and you like sub walking speed. You can crawl out of anything with it. It's so nice that way. And uh, so it's very confidence inspiring, especially when you're, you know, on some of the back trails and uh, I'm not really too afraid of getting stuck with this thing. So, and we'll have the winch and all that stuff too. So that'll be, that'll be nice. Um, the only thing, and I mean the only thing that I don't like about it is the ITC throttle. Uh, I find even in sport mode, it's not as fast acting as I would like it to be. Um, I wish they would just get rid of it and put a cable throttle directly to the, to the throttle uh, linkage um, or to the throttle body, sorry, um, so that you directly uh, operate the throttle valve mechanically rather than with this ITC bullcrap because I think it's the crappiest thing um, and it's the one thing that makes me not want a 900 ace uh, there's no like throttle lag or anything like that like it I think it's just the throttle's not sensitive it seems to like dampen out a lot of the quicker movements and I think it does that by design so that it you know the engine um, uh, doesn't like run away from you or anything like that or and that's part of its programming for you know essentially checking errors and trying to like um you know reject false voltage readings and stuff like that i know because like that's basically how a lot of drive-by wire systems work um but i just throw a cable throttle on and lower the price by 100 bucks and everybody will be happy uh, i just i don't see the point of an itc for a utility machine um i noticed a few times when i really wanted to just give it a couple of light pumps of throttle um for sneaking around a corner with a load on it the, it just wouldn't register very well i had to slow my inputs right down 
um, which was okay. It was fine, but I do see the need where uh, I would need those faster inputs. But I mean, honestly, that's the only thing wrong. The, the transmission is awesome. Uh, I don't like push button reverse, but this one seems super slick and really like flawless. I must've used it about 30 times today and just didn't miss a beat. Um, I do have the wider ski skins to go on the front. So those will be put on and, uh, we'll be doing all our own maintenance on this pretty much. So, uh, so that'll be good. And the four strokes nice for that, for, you know, just doing oil changes once a year and, and it being pretty much a gas and go machine. Um, but yeah, anyway, really, I'm really, really, uh, happy with it thus far and i think it's going to be a good investment and i gotta say like just subjectively i think the gen 4 chassis uh these utility machines to me look way better than the uh than the machines with the ras suspension i don't know what it is um maybe i'm just partial to utility machines but uh but i know this thing looks like really bulldoggy almost like it, it looks like a really you know um mean bulldog type thing it's just got that that stance anyway um, i really like the look of them and uh and yeah i love the clean front end like i definitely would not you know take this for a 200k ride on a groom trail um it's it is a brute uh it is a brute to turn like no doubt um you know even the even the um expedition le and whatnot those things are even a bit of a handful on the trail especially the tighter twistier trails uh this thing would just be an absolute workout to to try to ride but um but for what we do here this is these this is going to be an amazing machine anyway really happy with it uh we are going to work it pretty hard and uh i'm sure it's going to you know perform very well for us uh based on my experiences today okay thanks very much thanks for watching and everybody have a great day